There it is. So excited to see this. I am too. It looked really good. Um, so yeah, this is Bell Boomerang. It had, uh, it looked great. Um, the art style and like some of the animations that I saw already cute, already cute. Let me know how that sounds. So I think it's a little quiet compared to the music we were just listening to. I want to watch this little intro. Is this is this Bell Boomerang? Um, I think that music is really quiet. It sounds good. Okay, okay. I just poke it a little bit up for me. Wait, am I in control? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. This, this is like uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, where it starts with the curtains and everything, and it looks like a stage play, kind of. So I collected the bells. Oh, hey, Emily. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Uh, let's get into Bell Boomerang. I'm stoked. This character looks awesome, and uh, the only social media this game developer has, and I think it's another uh, game made by a single person, uh, is an Instagram. Like, they're not on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I DM, I DM them on uh, Insta. Start game. File. Is this just an icon? I mean, this looks like Sonic. And this looks like, uh, Boo. Let's go with the Boo. Uh, we get to choose between Retro and Newcomer. Retro. A map? Act one of Cherries and Trees. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. This looks so good. I love that map. And this has, yeah, this has the total, like, Game Boy Color, like, um, different color palettes. Not quite, not quite as, like, uh, I don't know. It just looks very, very Game Boy Color. I'm blue, da da dee da ba die Looks delightful, but I bet it's going to get scary. Let's check it out. Oop, I got a boomerang. Doesn't have that much of a range. What's on the screen? We got Act 1, Scene 1. We got 2 HP. We got a meter down there. Rose? Got some vines down there. One of the things that I liked about seeing uh, this game, kind of one of the tells that a game has a lot of like attention to detail and care behind it, is just good looking backgrounds. Because uh, there are a lot of indie games that get dropped on itch.io that just have single color backgrounds. So when you see like really nice uh, detailed backgrounds, you know that it's at least got some got some love behind it. I'm pink now. Pick that up. What is this? It says cherry power down there in the bottom. Okay, I can pick up cherries. How did I acquire s such a power? Picking up bells. My bell counters at seven. Go through the door. Act one, scene three. Pick up the bells. Eee! So there, that, that enemy's throwing the same cherries. Let's see, do I have a double jump? Do I have a any kind of slide? I don't think so. I'm I'm still not sure about how uh, let's see, select doesn't do anything. Start. Boomerang, press the attack button to toss your boomerang. Cherry. Press the attack button to grab and throw cherries. Uh Emily says, uh, it's scary. Brian says, I absolutely agree that this game looks like it's going to get scary. I don't know. I don't know if it's one of those like uh, punishingly difficult platformers. Oh, wait, I can't damage that. Is that a nut? Maybe I just can't crack the nut. Kill Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's, let's destroy that nut with one of these cherries. I can't go, I can't jump down through semi-solids. I got a bubble around me. Where'd that come from? Bell's 10, Bell's 11. And so it looks like I'm filling up another meter. There's still nothing under Rose. New enemy. Let's grab all these bells. Or wait. No, it, it's ringing. It's going back and forth now. So that that's just like a checkpoint? Did I miss those previous ones? If I had died, maybe it would have... Uh, ah! I lost my shield. There's that Rose. Hmm. Can I just... Can I just... I got it. I took I took damage. Uh, it says Rose Git. I got the Rose. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a wall. Sorry. 
Uh, Tony Hawk's something more durable than a boomerang to take out those walnuts, at least. I love the color schematic uh, as pretty as the other game. Squirm, but less intense. Squirm. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, Spinch? You're talking about Spinch? <laughs> Why does everyone always have to bring up my ex Spinch? Okay, so I got normal power. And I picked up a bell. And now I've got cherry power. I'm still not sure, uh, like, how many... How many bells I need, or like what the meter needs to get to. I got 23 bells. Got the rose, but that didn't give me an extra power or anything. E. Okay, okay. Again, for some reason, I keep thinking that um, this this that post right there that's holding up that platform, uh, I can walk through, but that is not the case. Act five. Um, y'all should go check out this game. This is this is delightful so far. I'm not sure what price it's going to be. It comes out tomorrow, and I'd love for the developer not to take a loss on giving me a Steam key. Let's go. Let's go support that developer. Hey, uh, basic. Welcome. Uh, let's get matching squirm tattoos. Uh huh. Squirm is your ex. Squirm is my most, yeah, Squirm's my, a very toxic ex of mine. Uh, you're blue again. Uh, oh, back to red. Yeah, red's the, the cherry power. Uh, full, a full back piece of that final boss. Oh, are we getting tattoos? Are we, chat, are we talking? My tea is especially delicious today. We're going to name this uh, hedgehog Optimus Octavius. Drinking tea. Uh, my sandwich isn't the greatest. Bleh. Next time, I'll ask for no mayo. Grandpa Apple is so wise. He always knows what to say when life has me down. Grandpa Apple? Are you an apple? Oh, yeah, this little apple. Can I sit down in this in this little chair next to you? No. What a, if you get tired of playing a level, you can always pick it up back, pick it back up later. Your checkpoints will be saved. If you're confused on how to get a power-up, you can always check the pause menu. I don't have anything helpful to say. I just love Grandpa Apple. Who's Grandpa? Where? Let's meet the... Gargoyles can break blocks and will follow you through the haunted library. Use that to your advantage. Haunted library. I'll talk to you. Uh, we're missing some of the band. I guess I'll just have to sing a little harder. <laughs> Hi, Basic Witch. Uh, hello. I always wanted to be a hedgehog. A, a tea-drinking hedgehog. I'm cutting you off. You already had three cups today, Bell. Me, Bell. Three cups of tea is that too much? I feel like that's a fine amount. I I I approach that in coffee usually every day. Hello. Uh, Ms. Menzies knows where all the roses are. Collecting a rose counts as four bells. That's what that is. The next row is at the end of a fiery hallway. Thank you for the tips. Can't go in there yet. All right. Uh, so I guess you get one of those rooms after Act One. Back. Oh, that's backstage. Act Two, the Phantom's Library. Tea drinking hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, something else I discovered uh, that told meat about earlier is the developer of garlic has a fiver where uh he will draw uh video game sprites for you for pretty cheap and that seems uh something like something I, I want i just don't know what to get the garlic developer to draw for me i'm wondering if there's a there's like secrets in the walls like a Castlevania. Oh! Wall meat. Wall ham. Is it wall ham? Wall turkey. These. <laughs> these ghosts remind me of the caterpillars from Super Mario World. So this is a different color. Can I do something with this? Can I push it? I don't know. We should also keep in mind. 
We're looking for a fiery hallway. So we, we raised the screen, so if we fall now, we, we die. Oh no! Can't kill the books. We can't, so um, you can't throw the boomerang up or anything like that either. It's not directional. I guess that's what for the, uh, that's what the uh, extra powers are for. Those caterpillar ghosts look so serene. Uh, have them draw the water tower or Lex GG. I, I thought about that briefly, like maybe a, because uh, the water tower remote that I've got, I drew with my finger on my cell phone very quickly. <laughs> but to have like an animated one, because he'll do animations as well, like separate frames. And you can have animated emotes, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can have animated emotes. Right? Here they are. Okay, I'm back. This is adorable. It's really adorable. It's really cool. Um, we went into a little backstage area, like a little, like a little like town area. Um, and there was a uh, wait. What was it that was drinking tea? I just said it. Optimus. What are you again? <laughs> hedgehog. Hedgehog. Ooh! How did- wait, first of all, y'all called it that this game was going to get scary before we even got to the haunted library. Oh, jeez! Oh, wait, what's my power now? Statue power. Statue power. Press the attack button to inspirit a lifeless statue. Is it- is that what I am right now? It says press the attack, but I think I'm just it. Oh, you go up to a statue- <gasps> And you Kirby the statue. Oh, jeez. That's really good. I also love this this uh, lion statue sprite. Uh, but it, it doesn't get a lot of uh, vertical jump. It's pretty heavy. And then what? We leave the statue on here? It's really good. One thing I kind of expect, and I keep like trying, is throwing the boomerang at the bells to collect them, like expecting them to come back, but that's just not a thing. Ooh, says meat. Oh my god, that power's badass. I hope, uh, I hope they expand on it. I hope there's more we can do with it. Okay, now we can go left or right, but we can't go right because we need that statue. Um. Like I said, I don't know much about this game, so one another question I have is, how long is this game? But, wait, there's a rose, which we learned counts as four bells. Ah, crap! Um, that backstage area seemed to indicate to me that it was going to be a pretty big game. How do we get, how do we get to the other side of this wall? Oh, do we jump? Can we jump up through semi-solids? No. Did I miss something? I s Oops. I still have the ghost power. Uh, Optimus has great tea during their streams, yes. Optimus, you ever get into that... Uh, what is that? Gunpowder? Gunpowder? Got the rose again. How do I get up here? Uh, maybe... This standing on a book would do something. That's what I tried to do earlier and I got burned. Oh, and was that that was the rose at the end of a fire hallway. That was a clue we got when we were backstage. Let's see let's see uh, our powers again. Ooh. It doesn't have the description for the ghost power anymore. Did we lose it? I'm still blue. can't go back, so we are stuck in this room. Oh, we can't even drop down here. No, that's death. That is death. Gunpowder. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, uh, shoot, what's it called? Don't make me Google it. I think it's a Chinese tea, like a like a, a related to green tea. And I just, whenever I see it in tea shops, I think it's got a really cool name. I just look it up. Uh, gunpowder tea looks amazing. I see it in, in tea shops. Uh, but I think I tried it once, and then I remembered I don't like tea. But it's got a cool name. 
What do we do? Um. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Well, I don't even... If we got here... Because there's that lion statue. Uh, we could have... Oh, we could have taken... What we need to do is take over that lion. So we get through those walls. But how do you get up there? How do you get up there? Oh! Do we... We lead that thing. We lead the gargoyle. Oh my god, y'all. I've been here for 35 minutes. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I was I was sitting here like and then we get and then we get the ghost power. We got the ghost power. I was like, this is an early game. Maybe No, it was me. It was me the whole time. <laughs> uh But you get you can understand, right? You you see what Oh no, I can't make it. <laughs> A lion. This is this is a total Game Boy Color game, or like Neo Geo Pocket Color. Did anyone actually own one of those? Oop. We do need to take it careful. We need to take it super careful. I think there was like a Mega Man game I really really wanted for Neo Geo Pocket Color, but that would have meant buying like a two hundred dollar console just to play one Mega Man game. Oh, there's a bell back there. How? How bad do we need all the bells? Because I just assume I gotta get all of them, but like, if this is Mario, I don't need to get every coin. I love these stands too that make you, uh, tell you this is where you leave the statue. I cannot, I can't boomerang these ones. Oh god, how do I get around? I can't go back. Okay, make a decision. <laughs> do it quick. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh god. This is... Okay, they're going to stop at that book. I just can't take any more damage. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I had that shield up for some reason. Uh-oh, pick a door. Right is incorrect. You want me to take this? And then we go in? No. Take this. Go in the left door. This is this is straight up like uh the lion is basically a spirit animal. <laughs> um this is straight up like a Super Mario World haunted house level. With like w w weird puzzles. Oh! We got a clue. And then what? Give me another clue. How do we get that clue? What does that mean? Can we only see clues when we're... A statue? Let's try to kill that clue. Come back. No. What's it mean? Um, oh, there's a, there's a fire above this one. Okay. So, then what? There's no door this time. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to stand on our... That's it! <laughs> uh, the basic says, I don't use that term, but I like the idea, Optimus. Agreed. Uh, back at, back at the tea shop, coffee shop, with a uh, open mic night. We're missing some of the bond, I guess. A uh, band, I guess we'd have to sing a little harder. Was the, that, so that's a flower that said that, but are these new? The caterpillar ghost up there? I'm cutting you off, you already had three cups today. Listen, I'll tell you when I've, I've thought about ordering a pastry or something, but ghosts don't really eat. Ghosts? I don't think that's fair. Ghosts might not be able to eat but they can still taste. They can still give it a lick. 